Welcome to the Shop 24-7 video tutorials. Throughout this video, we will be walking you through step-by-step -step on the assembly of the Royal London Tricycle. To start, please remove all the parts from the box along with all the packaging on them. Make sure to check for any missing parts. If you are missing any parts, please contact our customer service. The Royal London Tricycle comes with a pair of tools to help you build a trike. However, we do recommend using additional tools to make the assembly easier. We recommend using a pair of pliers or a wrench, along with a Phillips head screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. Next, you'll want to take the rear axle and the tire with the connector shown here in the image. This is also known as a lock pin. Take the tire and slide it on the side of the rear axle that matches the lock pin. You will know when it's connected properly when you feel a click. On the other side of the rear axle, you will see a nut and a washer. Go ahead and remove both of these and slide on the other rear tire. Then put the washer and nut back on and fully tighten up the nut. The rear assembly should now be complete and look like the following image. Next, we will be attaching the frame to the rear axle. With the framing hand, slide it onto the rear axle with the bolts lining up into the grooves of both the frame and the rear axle. Since this part is a little tricky, let's look at this again from another angle. As you can see, all bolts are in the grooves of the frame and rear axle. Do not tighten up the bolts just yet, this will occur in a later step. Next, let's attach the chain. In the bag, there are three small pieces known as the master link. You will need these to complete the chain. Starting from the back, guide the chain from the rear axle to the front pedal assembly. Wrap the chain around the pedal assembly and the rear axle gear until the two ends of the chain meet. Due to manufacturing or items shifting during shipping of the product, the metal bracket for the chain guard may be in the way. You will want to remove the screw before sliding the chain through this area. Let's take a closer look at sliding the chain through the metal bracket. Now, we can attach the master link to the chain. Start with the pin by sliding it through the open hole on one end of the chain, and the open hole on the other end. Now let's attach the cover. Then, attach the clip to lock the master pin to the chain. We found it easier to use a pair of needle nose pliers to complete this step. Next, let's remove the screw on the metal bracket at the top of the chain, and the one on the frame near the middle of the chain. Now all three screws should be removed including the one removed from earlier when we were attaching the chain. Next, bend the metal bracket at the bottom of the chain so it lays parallel to the floor. Now, take the chain guard and maneuver it over the right pedal bar and line the holes up to where the screws previously were. Then, reattach each screw. We found it easier to start with the bottom screw, then the top screw, And finally, the back screw. Now, let's tighten up the bolts on the frame from earlier. Using the included multi-tool shown in the image here, position it on the bolts where the frame and rear axle connect. Then, take a pair of pliers or a wrench and tighten up each bolt. The two bolts in the back do not require the use of the included multi-tool, but instead rely on being positioned into the cutout of the frame before being tightened. The next step is to attach the front tire guard. First, get a long bolt and a nut from the bag, like the set shown here in the image. 
Now, slide the tire guard through the back where the front tire goes and line up the latch on the tire guard to the hole of the frame. Next, put the bolt through the hole, hang out to the other side, tighten up with the nut. Now, remove the screws from the bottom and thread through the bars coming off the tire guard, then screw back onto the frame. Make sure the front brakes are both horizontal. Now, let's attach the wheel to the front. Start by sliding the tire in place on the front of the frame. Make sure the washers with a latch on them are on the outside of the frame. Now, line up the latch on the washer to the hole on the frame. It should slide right in. Then, tighten up the bolt by hand, then repeat this for the other side. With a pair of pliers, fully tighten each bolt. To attach the handlebars, start by removing the protective cover on the bottom. Then slide the handlebars into the base. Using the included hex key set, tighten up the screw in the middle of the handlebars. For the brakes, you will first need to line up the notch on each handbrake, also known as the lever body. Next, release the brake on the front tire by squeezing both sides together. Now, take the brake line for the front tire and place the end of the cable into the circular hole on the lever. Then pull the lever and align the cable through the notch on the lever body. Repeat this for the other handbrake. With both brakes connected, reattach the front brake by pulling the two parts together. Once you've completed reattaching the brake, take the bike and turn it on its right side. Find the spring from the bag and slide it over the rear brake line. Then wrap the cable around under the nut shown here in the video. Finally, tighten up the nut so the cable stays in place. You will need to put the bike upright again for the next step. Next, let's attach the reflectors. There are six in total, three for the tires, two for the rear tire guards, and one for the front handlebars. Some of these parts are located in the back. Now, take one of the rear tire guards and a reflector. Unscrew the nut on the reflector and place the screw on the top hole of the tire guard. Then, reattach the nut and tighten it up. Then, repeat this for the other tire guard and reflector. For the front reflector, unscrew the nut on the back. Then place the screw through the top hole and reattach the nut and tighten it. For the tires, find where three tire spokes are close together. Slide the reflector through the spokes and place the cap into the reflector with the grooves lining up with the spoke. Then, with a flathead screwdriver, twist the cap to the lock in place. Finally, slide the reflector up so it's nice and snug in the spokes. Now, let's attach the rear tire guards. To start, you'll need four short bolts and four nuts, two for each tire guard. You'll need to place the tire guard on the inside of the bracket of the rear axle, like shown here in the image. Then, slide the bolt through the holes of the tire guard. Then, attach the nut. Using the included multi-tool and a pair of pliers or a wrench, tighten up each nut. Now, let's build the basket. To start, grab the five sides of the basket, the two metal brackets, and the 12 metal plates. Lay the base on the floor. Insert the side with the spokes into the bottom through the eyes of the base. Then lay the side without the spokes on the inside of the latches of the base. Make sure to complete the hook and eye of each corner while placing the sides. Take one of the metal plates and wrap it around at the corner near the top, then again near the bottom.
we found it easier to use pliers to crimp the metal plates. Do this for each corner of the basket. Take the remaining metal plates and wrap one around the center of each side where the base meets the sides. Now it's time to attach the basket. Start by placing the basket on the rear axle. Make sure the holes of the rear axle are not covered up by the bars of the basket. Place the metal brackets onto the basket, lining up the holes on the rear axle and the metal brackets. Then slide a long bolt through each hole. Attach a nut to each bolt. Then take a pair of pliers or a wrench, along with a Phillips head screwdriver, and tighten each nut. Now, let's attach the pedals. Each pedal is marked on which side of the trike it should go on. These are on the sides of the trike when you would be sitting on it. Take a look at the face of the, the threaded part to see the label on each pedal. Using the included multi-tool, attach each pedal and fully tighten. Please note that the left pedal rotates counterclockwise, whereas the right pedal is clockwise. Next, let's attach the seat to the trike. You will also need the seat post, as shown in the image. Start by inserting the smaller side of the seat post into the underside of the seat. Then, tighten the nut to secure the seat to the post. Now, remove the protective cap on the frame, rotate the latch to tighten up the frame for the seat post, then insert the seat post into the frame and turn the latch to lock the seat in place. Now, let's add some protective covers to the sides of the tires. The two small gray covers go over the nut on each side of the front tire. Then, place the white covers over the nut on each side of the back tires. As an optional step, you can attach the bell. Start by removing the screw on the underside of the bell, then wrap it around the side you prefer on the handlebars, and reattach the screw. the final step, you will want to take the small metal caps found in the bag, placing one over the exposed wire of the front and rear brakes. Then, with a pair of pliers, crimp the cap onto the wire. Once you fill up the tires with air and grab your helmet, you are ready to ride your new Royal London tricycle. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. If you need further help with assembly, please contact our customer service.